Hey folks, Adrian Amos from Synergy Technical, and I'm excited today to talk to you about the new preview upcoming changes in the Intune UI. It has been a while since we have seen a significant change to the way that Intune is laid out, and I'm pretty excited about what happened last week when this little button popped up in my tenant. Now, before I get into it, I want to kind of talk about what's changing. Let's kind of level set with where we are right now. So traditionally within Intune, we have our principal docked left bar here. Right? It's got our home, our dashboard, our devices, apps, endpoint security, all that kind of fun stuff. In the center section, we have our little context menus that are based on what's major section that we're stuck in right so if we're looking at specific platforms right we can dig in directly here on the context blades and go directly to windows to mac os to android to chrome os if we wanted to right uh, and then once we decided which blade we wanted to land in then we would have our apps that are pinned across the top much like how we see with teams right we have the principal left dock bar the con context menu and then our applications that pertain to our teams our channels our chats all that kind of fun stuff so we're seeing this kind of unified structure both across teams, across the Defender space, across you know most of our touch points in Azure and in Intune now as well. But this is what has been. And what I think is really interesting here is if we look at the way that this is organized, the traditional Intune organizational method in this center section here, because this is what's changing. We might have our all devices. We have uh, this intent is enrolled in both auto patch and some other things here too. We can manage by platform directly here on this on this center bar right we have our device enrollment windows 365 separately than all of our policies than all of our others right uh now I'm going to click on this button. It's going to take me to a new devices preview that's actually a lot more than just a devices preview, unless you think of devices as being this entire area. So I'm going to turn this guy on. It's going to take a second to refresh. And now instantly you're going to notice all of these icons are gone, right? We have now a context bar for devices that's going to define what our applications are going to be, but they're generally going to follow a, a slightly revised UI. We no longer have direct access to all of our separate platforms. Those that are not in preview get their own separate buttons up here. Chrome OS down here in preview moves to other devices. Uh, and as we start moving through this area, we're going to start noticing that uh, other spaces behave very similarly, right? In configuration, we're going to have monitor policies, ADMX listed here. And I do think this is interesting that they're specifically calling this policies here. This whole section used to be called policies and you'd build configuration profiles. Now this is called policies and you still build profiles. It's a little bit of a confusing muddle of terminology right here, but I think some things are farther along this transitional journey than other things too. Compliance works very similarly. In fact, compliance actually is much easier now to work with because now in addition to your policies, you can directly get to your notifications. You can directly get to your compliance settings and we can now actually build remediation packages directly here. Now, these major areas that we've talked about so far are new UI on exist, or, or I should say new UI on the apps that they govern. Conditional access, you're actually invoking a separate app. Now, what's interesting here too, is that while this does generally behave the same way, our icons are back and this now operates as a back button, right? If I were to click in anywhere else in here, Clicking devices wouldn't take me back. I can click all day long, it's not taking me back. But in con conditional access, it's still operating as a back button because in this case, we're literally invoking a different application. Okay, so other things of note, we no longer have updates broken across multiple separate applications. For Windows 10 and later updates, our update rings, feature updates, and quality updates are all now under this one single blade of updates. I think it's great. Apple updates, very similar, right? Uh, group policy analytics and all this kind of fun stuff. While these are still separate, they are now managed into this one managed devices section. So we've got a lot of cleanup. We've pulled policy sets down from the very last thing on here, uh, moved it up a little bit. I, if you've seen my other content, you know I'm a huge fan of policy sets. Uh, partner portals are now actually surfaced directly into this. Although clicking on them will take you to places where then this area operates as a back button to take you back to where you came from. So we got a, a pretty substantial uh, overhaul of the UI. Nothing is lost. 
Uh, what's also very interesting is that so far this update applies only to the device's blade. It does not have any uh, any impact on the, the app's blade. Uh, there's been no changes in the endpoint security blades, right? No changes to the Intune or the tenant admin blades that I've seen yet. All of these things, while they may operate in a manner similar to the new behavior of the device's blade, they haven't yet gone on and done the, the new UI. So right now, this is just devices. I'm pretty excited about it. I really like what they've done. I like that I don't have to try to figure out how to go back and use things that don't look like back buttons to get back to where I came from. Uh, and in fact, the other thing I think is really neat here too, is that we're finally just starting to, to recognize that, that Cloud PC or Windows 365 is just another mechanism of device onboarding. So I think we're going to start seeing more things like, uh, actually, specifically, I would expect that right now I'm going to click on enrollment and we're going to see things like uh, you know, device enrollment managers, and enrollment status pages, all that kind of fun stuff rolling up into this one space. So we're not going to have to try to figure out how to build Windows 365 separate from how to do autopilot, separate from how to board, onboard machines. All of those things are device onboarding. So I really like this. I really love the unification of, of updates. I, I think this is a great change, and I'm really excited to see what's going to come uh, with regard to apps and endpoint security. And I did just see this morning that we're going to see new types of baselines coming in, not just for security baselines, but also for accessibility baselines. So I have a feeling we're about to see a, a much greater uh, set of changes to the Intune UI, and I think it's fantastic, and I'm super excited about it. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, if you found it useful, uh, please like and subscribe. It helps us understand what kind of content you want to see more of, and we really appreciate you joining us. Thank you so much. We'll catch you next time.